I only bow before Yahweh and say more of you less of me I only bow before Yahweh and say more of you less of me I take it again I only bow before Yahweh and say more of you and less of me I only bow before Yahweh and say more of you as of me, everybody sing. I only bow. I only bow. Yeah. More of you. More of you. And less of me. Less of me. I only bow. And I say more of you, Lord, and less of me. I only pass. I only pass. I only pass. More of you, more of you, more of you. More of you, more of you, more of you. More of you. Let's sing I only I only bow, I only bow. Come on, 
bow before your king. Before Yahweh, before Yahweh, before Yahweh. And I say more of you and less of me. I only bow, I only bow. That is the only thing I can do right now. Come on, everybody, let's sing for the last time. Oh, I only bow. Of you, I only show you something right now. Let me show you something. Some time ago, I was reading and I came across one commentator, what he had written. He was writing about David's life and he said the place that captured my attention so much in my heart. He said, when David sits on his throne, opposite where he, he is seated he has hanged the dress he was wearing when he slew Goliath opposite the throne and the string that he used to kill Goliath and the commentator wrote and said anytime David sat on the throne the first thing he saw was that thing which reminded him that a hand and now walk in this kind of rags and now, look at how glorious you are. These people that have come to stand before you, for you to judge them as a king, remember, you used to be wretched, more wretched than them. Don't twist judgment. These people that have come to stand before you, remember some time ago, you didn't even have more than what they had. So as soon as David sits on his throne, the first thing he will do is that I bow before you. And I give every glory that people are sharing, sharing on me. I give all that glory back to you. For it is you who have put me on this throne. And that is why at some point in time, David wanted to sacrifice and he went to buy a threshing floor. And Nabot, he said, Nabot, mention your price. Name your price and let me pay. And Nabo said, you know what, king, there is no way I can sell anything to you. Especially when you want to use it for God. And David said, you don't know what you are talking about. When it comes to me sacrificing to God, I will not give anything which is less or anything that will not cost me to God. Unlimited. When it comes to my praise, nothing will limit me. That was why the man could dance and go naked and he didn't even think about it. When it comes to giving money, I'm yet to see any king that can sacrifice 1,000 cows. But David said, I don't care. Unlimited. And that was one of the things that captured my heart and I, I said, no. We got to do something for God. Amen. Are we ready? Let me show you this simple song. It's just in the line of what David said. We are singing it together. 
Let's try it and see. Mete mawo. Come on, little boys, you can do it. Mete mawo. Jesus, my foreign in our heart. Mete. Mete mawo. Mete mawo. Mete mawo. Dini ya 
Just bless his holy name, bless his holy name, bless his holy name. Just give glory to him. Just give glory to him. He is worthy. He is worthy. We give glory to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 